180 degrees. We are rotating by 5 degrees because we are still using these options just for the information. So move this back because we are going to weld this connection. And this should be enough. Select these, attach these to it. Now perspective. Alt X and you can see this button poly and we have to delete it this one because if it will be there we can't weld the vertex on the connection so select it and delete from the other side one two so delete it control A by vertex and weld it okay so pretty fast we did this nothing cut, pretty easy and the main thing is fast go to front yeah we are matching the reference more or less it's good now perspective and now we are going to hinge this for this hinge we will use this poly and this. Hold on shift and drag them a little bit to the right. Now select this border and this, cap it. I think you already understand that without this poly we can't hinge from edge so because these are capping the holes. We'll select that and hinge from edge this and again in from edge by element select this delete this and delete select this again extrude it a little bit select just this and extrude it a little bit more I'll give this a little bit more too select both this and police hold down control click on edge and jump to this unhide all Hatta. yeah unhide all oh, oh, oh. I see some strange things that happened there ok fixed it a little bit later and move move this object back da, da, da. back and to the right like this yep like this okay let's look what is here and how we did this Okay, I know how we did it, but I don't remember when we did it. It looks like we moved just some part up. So let's fix this. We'll fix this by deleting. Ah, height unselected. The fastest way. We'll just delete. and do the hinge again so cap this oh, select this one copy by element select this hinge from edge hinge and this extrude this control edge jump up too much less element is delete unhide all whoops it's fixed yep okay uh, okay we created this part fixed that part uh, I think you will have don't have the same 
issue like me, but if yes, you know how to fix it very quick. Now we are going to do this part, and this part will do pretty quick by just using this. So copy this whole object. Select by poly, select these polys and delete them. Select these two borders, the holes, cap them, hold down control by poly and extrude. Mm. Mm. Like that. Hold down control H and 